And I kind of think I did that other one. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna layer my cup. My colors are in the description. Um, although I did kind of play with these a little bit and added a little something to this one and a little something to that one. Um, I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of white. And while I'm layering my cup, I want to talk about my biggest fan. And that would happen to be my dad. So, hey, dad. <laughs> um, so, while I'm doing that, I'm going to tell you my favorite dad story. Oop, Cindy. Cindy. I'll get to that later. That's a real bummer. This is 24 karat gold extreme sheen, and I really hate to waste a drop of it. So, I did that. I'm gonna go with this. So my favorite dad story. We used to do a lot of backpacking, hiking and stuff growing up. And when I was about, I wanna say 10, 11, we went on a little a couple of night tri camping trip up to, uh, I believe it was up around the Tremont area. Not a long, bad hike. It was probably two to four miles up in, up into the mountains. It ran by a river, and it was a really easy path, except for the last little bit. Now, in Tremont, there's a big problem with a lot of uh, boars up there. And so... For me and my 11 year oldness, a boar weighs about 800 to 1,000 pounds. And they have big giant tusks and they will tear you up if given the opportunity. I need a little more this way. Um, so as we're going down this hike and we're doing a little fly fishing on the banks in some places, my dad's pointing out a lot of places where boars have rested down for the night in the weeds and stuff. And you can see, you know, it's about the size of a 12 by 12 room. And so we keep going on through there and, and I'm getting kind of, you know, scared of the boars. And we did see at least one way up the path and it ran off. And so that was no big deal. So later that night, me and my brother, we're in our tent. Mom and dad are in theirs. And I'm constantly hearing the dreaded cowbell. All night long. Dong, 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 ding, dong, dong. Cowbell. And in the morning, after I finally went to sleep because the cowbell went away and all was good and I felt safe. I get up to use the bathroom, and I'm walking away from the campsite, and I crawl over this big old uh, fallen tree, and on the other side of it is that big, giant, 800 to 1,000 pound boar asleep on the other side of the log. And so, I quietly go back to the campsite, and... Let everybody know that that boar is over there. And so my dad, who's the bravest, bravest man. My brother and I, we take off. We go across the creek. We're trying to figure out how to run up some trees and stuff. Because, you know, we don't want to get ate up by this boar. And my dad just walks over. Leans over that fallen tree and goes -a 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 at that boar. And that boar took off running, never to be seen again. Sure, it, he scared the Jeezies out of that boar. And I've always remembered that and I've always been impressed. So, you know, if you can go up to a boar and you can go boogity 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 at a boar and it ran off, you're a brave man. Let me see where I am here. Anyway, 
So I am so proud to be his daughter. And I would like to say that I hope he's proud of me, but I know my dad's proud of me. And I really hope more men can be like my dad. Anyway, so back to this. So on the first one I did, I did a lot of thin layers. And this time around, I wanted to try to do more thick layers. And I also added this uh, light violet color. So we'll see how it goes. Hmm. I don't want to go next. I hope everyone's had a great weekend. It's been pretty cold here in Wyoming. It, it was a really beautiful day for my mom's birthday. The sun was out. She's getting back for a better day. But we've had a lot of hoar frost going on. And it's beautiful in the morning. And in that other one of the orange series that I did, I don't feel that I used enough paint because I would have liked more to stretch with and play with. I'm going to try to use more paint this time. I love this color I made. Kind of reminds me of a dream sickle. I don't know if you can see that. Kind of got you up there a little high. It's a mix. I think I put about four different things in it. Gosh, this layer cup looks so pretty, but... I think I'll drop a little bit of that down through there. Let's just see what happens. Mm. Kind of want things to be level that I can do there. Are you actually really want things to be level? I should say. Okay. So I'm gonna pour into a puddle of this gold. And then that other one I just used a little bit up, but I'm gonna use a little bit more this time around.
So here we go. Pretty, 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 pretty. So while this is setting up and things going up and things going down and it figuring out what kind of colors are going to come to the surface, I'm going to go ahead and add this flow extender. easier once I start tilting it for my paint to move. You always want to make sure your corners are well taken care of.
I still have a lot of hope and try not to have too many expectations for this year. I don't know, I think once you get a little older, or a lot older, you start to realize that things just always seem to work out. You know, I think young people, they don't seem to understand that part yet, that things work out. I can remember laying in bed, being five years old, and worrying about death, and well, here I am now, I'm still kicking it. Didn't, surely didn't think I'd make it this far. Still a little bit scared of orange, huh? <laughs> Bummer. So maybe the third time's gonna be the charm and I'll really let it loose. I don't know, I'm scared of orange. I know I'd really don't like to wear orange. Except unless I'm going to a UT football game or cheering the balls on. I think I'd get over that though, because out here I've got the Broncos and a little bit of orange, too. What the heck? I'm just trying to be nice for y'all. <laughs> I'm loving this song. Maybe because we've listened to it about four times. Gosh, that's really coming along though, isn't it? I'm not doing this directly on my paint. I'm just doing this to get my air bubbles out. I'm just trying to see where the weight of my paint is. Before I get to tilting, we better make some room, huh? Hope you guys aren't getting too much of a glare from the lights.
point that kind of looks like a white rose there in the center, which reminds me of my friend Sarah. She always wanted a cafe named White Roses. I think I went a little crazy with that gold because I was scared of the orange. That's a shame. I'm bringing that paint back to the center. Hmm. 